Hello my crafty friends, it's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations and today I am making a rainbow shaker card. So I have a white cardstock panel here which is larger than what I need and I am going to ink blend some Simon Hurley inks in rainbow colors. I will list the colors down below and I am using my blending brushes which are from the rabbit hole designs which are unfortunately not available any longer. Um, so I'm just going to work my way through the rainbow and get these inks blended on. Um, it doesn't have to be a perfect blend because I am going to use a cover plate to die cut this out and so you won't be able to tell that all of the areas were not as smooth as I wanted them to be. So this is part of a hop, a card hopping year full of fun themes and techniques. And this month the theme was rainbows and the technique choices were either shaker card or the spotlight technique. And I love to make a shaker card so of course I knew that I wanted to, you know, that would be what I would choose. Um, so if you haven't already, um, check out my latest Instagram post. I was part of a large hop on Instagram for Pride Month um, and I really enjoy how that card came out so I will hope you'll check that out as well. So the next person that is in the hop is going to be linked down below so I hope that you will check out everyone's creations. Um, I love, that's the thing I love about these hops is seeing how everyone interprets the theme and what they come up with um, and I always love a good rainbow everybody knows that I do throughout the year make rainbow or pride themed cards to donate um, to the real mama bears group I have sent them a few boxes of cards because they like to send them out to LGBTQ plus teenagers who have not received uh, support from their families so uh, to me, that is an organization that I truly get behind to support. So that's what a lot of these cards go for. So here is my cover plate that I am using. It's from Brutus Monroe. It's called Conversations. And I am just going to put this towards the bottom of this panel so you can't tell that I ink blended these colors in um, not the proportion that I wanted them to be. So I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine and I am left with this frame with all of these speech bubbles cut out of it. Now you could take a white frame and paper piece those speech bubbles inside of it to get another whole card if you wanted. But I'm going to poke these extra bits out that didn't come out the first time around and I love how this ink blended die cut came out. So now I'm going to take 8th inch score tape and run it along this very thin edge of this frame and adhere down a piece of acetate. Now I buy my, mine I use um, the transparency sheets like the teachers would use way back in the day if, if you're old like me. <laughs> um, but those you can buy in a huge package on Amazon and they're really cheap. I wouldn't recommend doing any heat embossing or anything like that on them, but they're perfect for shaker cards. So I am going to get that all peeled off the backing here and get my piece of acetate stuck down. And then off screen, I took my foam tape and doubled it up and trimmed out and cut it into thirds so that I would have it thin enough to be able to fit around this border without being able to see it. So I am going to peel off the backing to my foam tape first so that when I get my shaker bits in there, I don't fling them all over the place when I go to put on my second sheet of acetate. So I am using two blends from Doodles Paper Playground. That is an Etsy shop. She makes exclusive blends. They are limited edition once they are sold and out of commission, she no, they're no longer available. So I am using Rainbow Tastic and Clearly in Love, which is the clear blend. The Rainbow Tastic has little um, rainbow clay bits. There, it's I've had I think five or six of this particular blend, and I think I've almost used all of it. Um, so I'm just picking out the larger pieces because I don't think that they're going to shake around too good, and I didn't want to. Um, poke holes in my second piece of acetate. So I am going to then take another sheet and sandwich all of this stuff in. I find this easier to be able to adhere to my cards so I can see what I'm doing. And so of course you have to give it a shake to make sure that it's working. 
And then I'm going to be using a black card base, which I'm using my score pal, and I'm just going to square that at four and a quarter, get that folded over and a good crease on it. And then off screen, I put another layer of the eighth inch score tape on the back of this, and I'm going to peel off the backing. Stand this up on the table and meet the two pieces together because this is the full size of an A2 size card, so they should match and just squish those together. And then I am going to stamp out my little image, which is from a Kindred Stamps stamp set that I recently bought um, for Pride. And I, it's a little critter that is holding a sign. The sign is empty, so you could handwrite something in there if you wanted to. I am stamping this a couple of times using my Gina K Amalgam ink. And then what I did, and there are little sentiments in here that say, um, you know, something to the effect of only clothes belong in a closet, love is love, love wins. So those would fit in this sign. So I'm taking love is love and going to get that centered as best I can in that little sign box and then stamp that down a couple of times using my Gina K Amalgam ink. And then off screen, I used my Ahuhu markers and colored the sign with the same rainbow stripes. And then cut, I did the little critter in a you know, couple of gray colors. And then I fussy cut this out and put some foam squares on the back of it. So that it'll be ready to put on the card. I saved you from showing my fussy cutting and um, the coloring because that's not my it's not my expertise so I'm just showing you the stamp set again I absolutely love this stamp set and there's my finished little creature I'm gonna get that placed down after I get decide if I wanted it in the bottom corner or in the upper one but I decide to go with the bottom and that is gonna finish off today's project I hope that you'll check out everyone in the hop. Like I said, the next person is linked down below. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.